Okay, this is my iMac G3 700 megahertz special edition. Let's just start this thing up. Unfortunately, it does take a while to get going because it has a lot of login items. Modified this, um, put a new hard drive in it, 160 gig uh, hard drive, so it's maxed out. Um, the only more I can do if it is uh, partition and get an extra to reclaim the uh, lost space since it only recognizes 127.89 uh, gigs of that 160 gig hard drive. upgraded the RAM to a full gig and I've put a super drive in it so it can read and write to CD and DVD I got a full backup here clone backup using super duper Which I fortunately I did have that had that in uh, ready before the original hard drive died in it. So I was for about a week or two I was uh, using that as the startup disk. Anyway, like I said, he's, it's uh, data of, it's running on OS information and let's see ATA Like I said, it only recognizes 127 point, oh, okay, 0.87 gig gigabytes. Um, it's 830. Yes, an airport card, which I'm using at the moment. Like I said, it's uh, pretty well maxed out. And it's really outdated. I can use the, I do have a uh, USB webcam, which works sort of, but uh, mostly I use the uh, USB uh, headset here to do audio. That works just fine. Um, I've been told you can't run Leopard on this, but some people think you can. I don't know. I haven't given it a try. Nobody will loan me their uh, this to uh, try it out. All right, we're going to close this out. And uh, like I said, this hopefully will give someone else some ideas to uh, dig an old iMac out of the closet or uh, get something from somewhere and uh, play around with it. Like I said, they're easy to work on, not that hard. You can actually break these open and change the hard drive yourself and install an airport drive or whatever. <laughs>